Somewhere in Chigali, Rwanda, the Silverbacks will be in action. It is the second window of the 2023 FIBA basketball qualifiers. But also today morning, the Uganda Cricket Association did announce, or should I say, unveil a new chief executive officer. Kansas FC continue with their strategy to develop the youth. The rugby cranes will also be in action this weekend. That and much more, we are going to be discussing on the sports dish until 2 p.m. It is a Friday, and yes, I will do exactly that. Clive Chazay is my name, and yes, I am in good company of uh, Shaban Rubega Benteke Chilevu, very smart and clad in yellow, but of course the yellow is a bit specific. It is uh, the official jersey of the cricket cranes. I don't know what inspired the dress code today. Maybe he will let us know. Uh, uh, good afternoon, Clive. Uh, I nearly <laughs> said good morning and uh, good afternoon to everyone watching us. Uh, yellow today was uh, it's supposed to be a critical day. In, uh, critical. Uh, yeah, critical. In, uh, uh -huh. cause, cause of the reasons we will explain uh, in uh, the Uganda Cricket Association uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> movement. And uh, I thought that donning it uh, uh, would be right on a day that uh, they unveil a new CEO. Uh, so basically, it's all about cricket. That is the yellow. But uh, remember, we have uh, uh, another national team, um, a national team uh, which is going to be engaging uh, uh, Mali today in the mm. in the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. Uh, so we pray that uh, we get the results that we desire. Well, you can be part of the show. The number at the bottom of your screen is our WhatsApp number. Engage us, uh, let us know, and of course, uh, comment and also give your views. You can also do that uh, via Twitter. That's the hashtag on the bottom of your screen. But joining us live straight from Chigali, Rwanda, is uh, Mr. Emanzi Ndiamhachi, the birthday boy. Uh, we'll probably get a chance to see him in a few and uh, officially wish him a happy birthday. But also, he should be letting us know where he is, how the atmosphere is. Emanzi, good afternoon. Uh, you'll need to add mute. <laughs> yes, Emanzi is in Chigali. Uh, Rwanda, of course, uh, later on, Uganda uh, will be taking on uh, Mali, like we did say. But, uh, of course, the game he is covering at the moment, or the game that he is watching at the moment, in a few minutes from now, Nigeria versus Cape Verde will be tipping off. I don't know if uh, Emanzi has sorted his audio. We would love to hear a few things uh, from him. Of course, earlier on, he wasn't sure that uh, he would be allowed uh, to join us um, via Zoom, especially in the arena. Uh, he had to get clearance uh, from the FIBA guys uh, for him to... Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, in uh, such tournaments, uh, these guys don't want uh, you guys to be recording for, for, some, uh, uh, for some company or for your own social media and stuff like that. Uh, so you have to get clearance. And uh, it's not hard sometimes, but uh, sometimes like in uh, a solid in Egypt, no, it 2019, is hard. 2019, it was literally impossible to do that in Egypt. It is hard. You, you, you need clearance. I know, I know. Mm. You, have, you have to get that clearance and uh, good enough he has uh, gotten it because uh, you never know. It would have been uh, with him at some point and then he's being arrested. Because they are thinking he's... <laughs> Recording the game, uh, yet he's doing his other business. But good enough, we're going, we're going to have him. Because uh, uh, if he's on the ground, he's going to be giving us everything exclusive. Emazi? Okay, Emazi will be joining us uh, later on. But of course, I'm uh, moving on with the first story of the day. Today morning, the Uganda Cricket Association did unveil a new CEO, Alan Mogume. Now, Alan does take over from Martin Ondeko, who has served in that position for the last five years, but he has served as an employee of the Uganda Cricket Association for the last 13 years. 13 of those don't include uh, the years he was an active player, a man who played at the World Cup and nearly scored a century. He could only do uh, 99 runs. But of course, mm -hmm. that's a story for another day. Alan Mugume uh, did talk to the media uh, today morning and uh, he shared his views and objective as uh, he takes over a role that uh, many believe uh, the shoes might be too hard uh, for him to fill. It gives me great pleasure to be here today. It gives me great pleasure to be joining this team. Uh, they've done fantastic work. Yesterday, I was at a training right here at, at NCS. And uh, in his remarks, in his presentation, the General Secretary couldn't stop praising the Uganda uh, Cricket Association for its, uh, for, its, for its achievements. He kept saying that uh, Uganda Cricket Association is 
is one of the model associations we have under SCS. And uh, I can only thank the, the Secretariat, led by outgoing CEO, Mr. Martin Ondeku, uh, supported by the Board of Directors, uh, led by Mr. Mat uh, Michael Nwagaba, as well as the Board of Trustees. So for me, I feel very, very proud. Um, I am happy where the national teams are right now. We have professionalized the national men's team especially, and we are, we are pushing that to the women. Our target then was to have uh, women and men at 50-50 by 2024. I hope that can still be achieved because it's key that we also have the women uh, following the men. We have been able to get back to the World Cup after 16 years for the under-19 uh, boys, and we have managed to improve our ranking from uh, number 35 for the men last year to number, to number 25 right now. And now, where we've moved and the kind of cricket we are playing we can only think about going higher. And the only way we will go higher is by playing and performing better. And that requires a lot of financing. That requires a lot of partnerships. And I think for us as a board, ODI status is our sole objective for Uganda cricket. To attain that, you need a couple of partners coming on board. Well, three gentlemen, of course, uh, the first one uh, was Alan Mugume, uh, who is uh, the incoming uh, CEO of the Uganda Cricket Association. Then we had from Martin Ondeko, uh, the man who was putting on specs, the outgoing CEO, and then the chairman of the Uganda uh, Cricket Association, uh, Michael Nwagaba, who emphasizes uh, the need to play ODI status and what it takes because it takes a lot of financing and all that. But uh, the story of cricket, I remember the first time when I engaged Alan uh, was at the launch of the Cricket Cranes jersey. Uh, with our sponsors before the Challenge B League uh, second round did commence in Uganda. And uh, one of the questions I asked him if he had ever played cricket before, and he told me no, he has never played cricket, but he comes from a business background. Now, looking at uh, his profile, um, he's a man that uh, deals with numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, a question you posed uh, to him, and uh, I think he gave you the right answer, that much as it is sport, it is still, Uganda Cricket Association is still a corporate entity mm -hmm. that will need a business mindset for reach to be generating money other uh, corporate entities? Actually, uh, all associations are supposed to be corporate entities, but somehow uh, uh, some of them are not exhibiting that. And uh, uh, like you mentioned, this profile uh, speaks volumes uh, as a person who has been uh, dealing directly in business and ensuring uh, that uh, the business entities survive. He comes in at a time when uh, the Uganda Cricket Association are, are positioning themselves as one of the best run associations in Uganda, if not the very best mm -hmm. uh, at, at the moment. Uh, so there are big shoes to fill, that is uh, the shoes of Martin Ondeke, who has ensured that in the last uh, three years, cricket moves on the path that is on, mm -hmm. it is on at the moment. And uh, I like uh, the fact that um, he's up for the challenge. Yes, he clearly tells you this is a new uh, ball game altogether because uh, uh, it is sport. But his, 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 uh, his target is to ensure that money keeps on coming into the sport and uh, looking at his profile is someone who can do that. I remember I was speaking about um, the fact that some of the federations have friends in this, uh, uh, close to the state and uh, somehow keep on securing money. It's not what cricket needs, but it's someone who has been uh, 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 on, a on the budget committee for a while, not necessarily on the budget he committee. He has worked with the Minister of Finance. Yeah, Minister of Finance, and uh, he knows how everything works, uh, everything to do with the budget. So I think he can uh, probably use his influence if needed, but of course, uh, Cricket Association and uh, Martin Ondeka have ensured that cricket has the money coming in, especially from ICC, because uh, there are levels in cricket where a nation is ranked, and uh, wherever you are ranked, uh, that means you are going to get a certain amount of money. In the last three years, Martin Ondeko and his team have ensured that uh, Uganda rises up that uh, ladder, and somehow, now at the moment, I think we have uh, enough money coming in. Of course, money can never be enough. We expect uh, uh, Mugume to come in and elevate us uh, to another height, and uh, probably if we can attain that ID, ODI status, like everyone is speaking, mm. probably we'll be in a, better, uh, uh, in a better place to commercialize the game and... Uh, and uh, more money will come in and uh, along with the partners. 
Well, I'm doing something that I never thought I would do on live mm. television, uh, mm. working on set with the paper. <laughs> <laughs> but it is for a good cause. I just wanted um, to read off uh, the press release by the Ghana Cricket Association, uh, mm. the profile or the bio of uh, the gentleman. Uh, they are telling us that uh, he has also previously, by, uh, by the way, um, until recent, uh, mm. he was the head business development at the uh, Diaspora Capital, a financial advisory firm where he provided advisory services in equity investment, including but not limited to risk analysis. Mm. Uh, we also told um, evaluation and uh, portfolio management as well as assessment of internal controls, uh, reporting mechanisms, and uh, corporate governance structures of potential investors. And they also tell us uh, he has also previously served as an economist uh, at the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, where he developed a strong understanding of the budget process as he was directly involved in preparing departmental work plans, research papers, and performance reports that ultimately fed into the budget framework paper, ministerial policy statement, and background to the budget. He holds a master's from the University of Cape Town and a BA in economics from the University of Alberta. Uh, I think uh, such a profile should be exciting for everyone now uh, who, who wants to see the game of cricket mm. grow. The, we all the, know the, what, what, one of the biggest sp mm. sport, uh, sports products in the country right now is the English Premier League. The man who made the English Premier League what it is today was a banker in the UK. He uh, had <laughs> no history mm. of ever playing football. I know, I know, and uh, you don't you don't have to play the game mm. uh, to understand it. That is one mm. thing. And then uh, you don't because have to be the majority the of those who have played it have, act have actually disappointed us. Uh, uh, absolutely, <laughs> and uh, you don't have to be involved in it to ensure that uh, uh, to, to find avenues to bring money into the game. We all know that the one undoing for sports federations in Uganda has always been the lack of sufficient funds. Sufficient. Can never be, it's not something you can attain easily, but you can have a start. He finds a cricket association who are somewhere in terms of bringing in funds. And uh, we remember at the start of the year, they just secured uh, their biggest partnership in history. And if you find them at that note, and you bring in someone like uh, Mugume, who has been dealing with uh, ensuring that uh, corporate entities are in position to lure sponsors to come in and then uh, secure funds. I think that is a very good move. We are all waiting to see what he can do. Mm. And uh, he stressed it at the press conference. I don't know if you remember, Clive, that he's here to ensure that these guys get sponsorships. And he talked about uh, uh, one of his primary targets. He said that in the near future, they are going to bring in one or two or three sponsors, which is good for the game. Because mm. uh, uh, of late, we have not been mm. hearing any cries. Well, exactly. I mean, cricket. you have people coming mm. in to sponsor the national team, but then they have so many activities. You have the National League at the moment, uh, doesn't mm. have a sponsor. You have the Women's League that uh, ha has no sponsor. You have the mm. school's cricket league that I uh, used to have uh, uh, beverage companies mm. back in the day. It doesn't have anymore. So he comes in at a time where the sport badly needs to move away from relying on handouts from uh, the ICC mm. or even government and stuff like that, but to start generating your own kind of income. Yeah, and, uh, 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 and you, you, you must be thinking that despite the fact that they are painting a, a decent picture to the media and everyone that is looking on, they badly need money. And uh, if you can get sponsorship for the league, that is a very good start. And then uh, somehow you try, uh, you try and see how you can get sponsors for the schools league and stuff like that. But uh, for me, I'm, uh, I'm optimistic. I know probably this is the best run federation in Uganda. And uh, if they're bringing such a, such a person on board with everything they're trying to achieve uh, 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 with the national teams, because remember, we're trying to achieve ODI status for the men's national team. We have been engaging uh, in several engagements with the women national team and uh, the league has just been concluded and uh, you, you'll be thinking that probably he's in position or oh, they have set the platform for mm. him to succeed if he's indeed who he is then uh, probably money is going to be coming in soon well uh, let's connect to chigali randa emanzi Yamahachi does join us and uh, of course we'll hear a thing or two but before all that uh, sebo happy birthday Thank you so much, Clive, and uh, good afternoon to you guys. Uh, do I also have to mention happy birthday to him? Uh, maybe you should also let us know if you, <laughs> you, if you travel to Rwanda to celebrate your birthday or to cover basketball. Let's set the record straight. <laughs> you are to cover basketball. <laughs> have you ever celebrated a birthday before? 
I have never taken it very serious, but uh, uh, of course, I'm uh, grateful to God for another year. Mm. And uh, I cannot take it for granted uh, what he has been able to mm. uh, help me achieve. So mm. I celebrate, but uh, the celebrations are never that big. Yeah, of course, later on, we shall be speaking basketball because you are at the beautiful Chigali Arena. But uh, the big story uh, training at the moment uh, is uh, Uganda Cricket Association today morning. Uh, they did unveil Alan Mugume as their new chief executive officer taking over from Martin Ondeko. Yeah, of course, uh, like you mentioned, the CEO is supposed to uh, achieve a lot for a company or wherever he's hired. And uh, I think that as a uh, Ugandan sportsman, that's what we'll be looking at. Uh, what does he bring uh, to the table? It's one thing to present a very uh, attractive CV, and uh, it's another uh, to actually succeed in Ugandan sports. Uh, so it will be very important uh, what he does. I think the Cricket Association has uh, been doing this. Uh, you would say that a, a, an association that does not struggle a lot uh, for finances, uh, but uh, what more can he do uh, for the association? I'm sure there is uh, a lot of people out there who will be looking at uh, what he can achieve. He does not have a background in sports, but. Uh, I think it's very important to note that you do not have uh, to have a background in sports to contribute uh, to the growth uh, of uh, any kind of game. So if you bring in uh, a business mind uh, into cricket, uh, I think it helps. Yeah, it does not have to know anything about uh, cricket. Maybe uh, there are people in there that uh, need uh, to know more about cricket. And uh, for him, the most important thing, like you mentioned, as a CEO, uh, I think uh, his job description is quite uh, clear and uh, we can only assess him after uh, his uh, contract and say that you are able to contribute uh, either positively or he failed uh, massively as a CEO. So good to have him on board and uh, we can only wait and see. I'm, I'm never very excited about uh, people coming into sports. <laughs> I always want to wait and see uh, what they actually bring to the table. Mm.